northern plains in summertime summon spectacular lightning storms. The vast prairie landscapes and underrated scenery are exceptional backdrops for lightning photography and video. Northeastern Wyoming, there's an otherworldly place that oversees this boundless beauty. Devil's Tower, an igneous monolith rising 1,267 feet above its dominion. Below the tower's crown, peculiar hexagonal columns drape like a scaly exoskeleton. Below the columns, a canopy of pine garnishes the alluring throne. And below the canopy, bone fragments dangle from limbs, skulls impaled on fences. What dark rituals occur in the shadows here to bestow such a sinister name? my visit to Devil's Tower, there was no dark underworld, rather gentle spirits gathering in sunshine. Wild horses grazing in harmony with the elk on distant bluffs. Prairie dogs frolicking under your feet. And a place where getting stuck in rush hour traffic is a moving thing to behold. Hey there, cowgirl. Wait. What's happening? Why are all the animals suddenly afraid? The volcanic monolith is sacred to dozens of Native American tribes throughout the region. For perhaps thousands of years, the Lakota and Cheyenne have called the peak Bear Lodge. The Crow call it Bear's House or Bear's Lair, and the Arapaho Bear's Teepee. In the Lakota language, Black Bear is translated to Wahanksika. This sounds very similar to Wakansika, which translates to bad god or evil spirit. It seems that in 1876, a popular book published by Colonel Richard Irving Dodge mistranslated Black Bear for bad god. He labeled the monolith Devil's Tower, and the blunder stuck. For some reason, there's a controversy over returning Devil's Tower back to a rightful name, Bear Lodge. Wouldn't it be an honorable gesture to undo a defiling error and return the sacred tower to a name given by the first Americans? And as for the ladies, they invited me to their house to blow up some cans. Mm -hmm. 